Joanna, Jo, Jo, Joanna. Hey y'all, it's your girl Joan. I'm back with another video. So today I'll be talking about what it's like being black at a predominantly white institution, aka 95% of the schools in America. Okay, so as you guys probably know and are tired of hearing, I go to Kent State University and it is not an HBCU. So um, I guess I should first talk to you guys about like why I didn't apply or even like consider going to H an HBCU. Um, I didn't apply to any because I feel like it would just be very unrealistic to be surrounded by all that melanin just for, like for four like amazing years and then you know come graduation and it's time to go into the real world you're surrounded by white people again because as we know like America and most places and most like jobs are filled with white people which there is anything wrong with that but um, I feel like it would just be like a very like big life change to go from like a school that's like all black people you know i'm surrounded by like melanin i'm surrounded by people who look like me who have who like you know have have been through the same experiences as me then just to you know go to work and you know be surrounded by people who aren't like me you know um I'm not saying i can't get along with white people i can but it's just like i feel like it would just be unrealistic and just be a whole like cultural shift and change that i didn't want to put myself through i feel like it would have been hard for me to adjust i would have adjusted regardless because that it's life but also none of the hbcus like their rankings for the fashion programs were nowhere near where kent state was where um and all the other schools i applied to were at least in the top what 15 in the u.s maybe top 10 in the u.s for fashion programs and then hbcus were like nowhere near that at all whatsoever so i'm like okay um, I would have loved to went to an HBCU and even apply so I can get in and just see if that would change my mind. But then it's like the fashion programs aren't as like accredited as I would have wanted them to be. And I wanted to really make my college experience be the best bang for my buck. If that is the right expression, you know what I mean? Like get the most out of what I'm spending. However, Kent State is very unique in the fact that there are a lot of um, black people there. It's pretty diverse. I mean, obviously it could be definitely be a whole lot more diverse, but it is very diverse compared to other PWIs, um, Kent State, we have like this nickname for all the black people and like minorities there, we call ourselves Black Kent State or BKSU for short. And it's just our own little community. So we make ourselves feel comfortable. Um, I was first introduced to that um, through Computer Transiciones and I can't say that is um, a four day multicultural orientation for all freshmen who are incoming at Kent. And it was just four like amazing days of getting to know the campus, making friends who like look like me, um, who like have some of the same experiences as me, but also like seeing all these um, university officials who also like looked like me and who also had similar experiences like me. They also gave us mentors who could kind of guide me through everything, like just all things like BKSU, but like also all things like my major and academic wise. There's about a hundred of us in total at the orientation. However, we were split into like families of like groups of like 20, give or take, 20, 25. Even though like it was a big, it was like a big old family, like I was able to meet people, kind of find some more people in my major, other freshmen. So we went to KT, KT's nickname for computer transitions. We went to KT four days before um, the regular back to school activity started, but we were there a week before classes actually started. So it gave us like a, a lot of time to get used to everything and um, be introduced to everything. They also had like, um, one of the activities they had was like this cultural organization fair. So it was like all the like predominantly black or minority organizations that were created on campus were there and we got to be introduced to them and see what clubs we would want to join. Um, we saw the black fraternities and sororities. KSU has its own group chat um it's on group me so it's like a thousand of us on there and i think it's a great idea and concept i feel like it could be a little bit more regulated because it does blow up my phone notifications every day even now when we're not even on in school or have campus like the big group chat where we're able to support each other um people are able to give advice about certain classes you know people can help with your homework you can advertise club meetings organizations events um, people advertise their businesses and other pro and the products that they sell so it's just really in like a little place where you can to like meet new people like kind of talk to people find out what's going on what's happening just be introduced to something that you have never heard about on campus if you weren't in this group chat so are the biggest organization on campus 
for minorities is well it's actually it's all inclusive so everybody can join it but it's black united students it was the first black student union in the united states um and also we created well they created bus created black history month which is great we also created black homecoming week because um 50 or 51 years ago Kent just didn't allow black people to go to their regular homecoming so black and our students created their own homecoming to make all the black students feel welcome because we weren't like even though we were allowed to go to college we weren't initially welcome which is crazy during black homecoming we had all these little activities but the biggest thing was the renaissance ball which is kind of like a prom of sorts um and it was just it was a prom pageant like like you got to dress up and everything and there's food but you mostly it was you were watching a pageant you were watching people you know display their talents um talk about what they do in school and like what they wish to aspire to be um and then they have in february this thing called the love lottery which is like basically just an um an auction where you you bid you get yeah, you do pay it's like you buy tickets and then you bid on who you'd like to go on a date with but the date is really just like right after the show it's just dinner and a meal um and all the money went to charity and then casa which is the Kent African Student Association, which is one another black art on campus. They had their Faces of Africa pageant in the beginning of the year, in the beginning of the year, which also had like an after party, I think after that. Um, and then they were about to have a African night um, event, like another pageant and then like a whole like party after that. But we that didn't happen because it had to get canceled but there's just so many events and opportunities to be involved in the black community at Kent which was great like the clubs actively made an effort or like get an effort for you know you to be involved or to like you know get notice for everything and everybody um we were also introduced to the black sororities and fraternities um they also they were able to create spaces just for us to like hang out like during like parties or like even kickbacks stuff like that because even though because even though like I didn't directly experience like racism at Kent, um, I know there was this one night fall semester where I think some of my friends were involved as well. So people I know were like were involved in this, um, where one of the black like house parties got shut down. So people were trying to go to the white frats because they were having their own parties um, that weekend too. Except the white frats wouldn't let the black people like just come in their party. They're like get off our lawn and they're just saying some really mean and like nasty stuff and just wouldn't let them join the party so like that happened and so which like obviously is horrible and is not okay at all whatsoever but um the black attorney sororities were just able to give us a space to like hang out on the weekends you know what i mean and to like in a way that we wouldn't get in trouble we also had this thing called arise um which is kind of like a student club like um a student at kent he like opened up the club uh, it, it didn't have a, um, a bar in it, but it was a club where people could host parties in it and like or like after parties for certain events. And that was another space that we could hang out and just, you know, just be together on the weekends and like not get in trouble or not be in any situations that were dangerous to us. But then um, the owner, he um, he had to shut it down because it just wasn't making any money and the business wasn't profit profitable anymore. So that kind of sucked because like after fall semester happened, like it just ended. Um, they also had um, a lounge. Uh, it was the Student Multicultural Center, what we called the SMC, where we were just able, like, in between classes, just to hang out, do our homework, talk to other people, meet new people. Like, I met a lot of friends just by being in that lounge in the SMC. SMC. Um, so that was just a nice place for us to feel comfortable with each other and just to, like, you know, meet people. A lot of, like, club meetings were held there on certain nights. Um, the SMC also hosted... Uh, well, not hosted, but sponsored. I don't even know the like what it's actually called. But they also um had two, two like main groups. Um, there is one for female identi identifying students called Sister Circle, and then there's um a second one was called the um for male identifying students and others called the Male Empowerment Network, men for short. And those were also extra spaces for you to feel comfortable as like a woman and as a man, and just to like know how to elevate yourself. You know and being black and all the struggles you face now it's also kind of like a support group but also organization which was great to have um i went to some of the meet sister circle meetings but not a lot because it just wasn't specifically my cup of tea but it was also just great to know that that was there and that was an available option for me if i wanted to if i wanted to just connect with more you know other females and girls personally <clears throat> based upon just 
what I think and like my whole entire first year and how it went. Um, I think I was definitely, I definitely felt welcome at Kent and especially just in the black community in general. Obviously there's a lot of people that I didn't know but there's also just a lot of people that I met that would have never met or like gotten to know if these, all these options and events weren't available to me. Um, I feel like the, I'm not Kent specifically, but I feel like the SMC, the Student Multicultural Center, I feel like they really made an effort to make sure that we were welcome into um into Kent and that we felt we had like a family with our own communities because it's very hard to feel welcome as um, a black person just in any like predominantly white area or it's just hard to like be able to relate with certain things because because like certain people never be able to understand you and you won't be able to fully understand them so there's always that like feeling that difference of just being uncomfortable and knowing that you don't ever actually truly fit in but I really felt like <clears throat> that I fit, fit, fitted in I can't and that I had like just had a family within because you're like the members because that I actually met um I feel like they definitely would have done a better job had we were able to stay for us a semester I feel like there's so much more planned for us for just like freshmen or just like students at Kent in general but we will never know or like never be able to get enjoy those events because obviously um we had to leave school because of corona but I feel like as a freshman I definitely felt welcome um and it was great because through um computer transition or through going to smc at certain times i was able to find even just more black people within my major and be able to connect with them and be able to unite and like be more friendly because especially just within my major in general um both majors the entrepreneurship one and the fashion merchandising one those are predominantly just white majors um so most of my classes are filled with white people because not like i'm a pan-african studies major or anything like that I was able just to find people just also in my major, which is great who could help me with those type of things. And then by them giving me a mentor um, during KT, I was able to talk to her for certain things when I felt uncomfortable or um, if I wanted to vent or talk. So it just really made me just feel comfortable. <clears throat> Cause I was able just to, there's, there's people just guiding me along the way, you know, cause nobody was like outrightly mean to me or anything. Everybody was pretty much welcoming. I mean, yeah, everybody has kind of, not like their cliques, but like obviously their friend groups are people they hang out with the most. But also in college, you realize that cliques aren't really a thing because everybody hangs out with everybody, essentially, or they're willing to hang out with everybody. So like, I would always, like, there wasn't a place where I ever felt unwelcome at all. I feel like, <clears throat> at least Kent State for a PWI is <clears throat> very diverse and I honestly felt welcome. And I feel like it's its own mini HBCU because <clears throat> outside of classes, I really wasn't around white people that much. I was always, most of my friends at Kent were, are black or minorities. So I was just always hanging around them outside of class, um, on the weekends, events, studying. So I just felt at home, I felt more connected to my culture. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed me talking about this. If there's anything you wanna know about Kent specifically or like just more specifically about, I don't know, tips on how to deal with being at a PWI um, and you're black or anything just you know let me know in the comments down below um, I enjoy making these college videos I enjoy just talk about my experience I believe that there is beauty in talking about experiences and talking about what you learn because then people can learn from you and learn from that so yeah thank you guys for watching don't forget to like comment subscribe and share with all your friends see you next time bye